Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about isolation. Um, I live with bipolar disorder and I remember in the beginning many years ago when I got sick I felt like, hey, I don't know if people are going to accept me, I don't know if I can handle it. And a lot of clients I've worked with also talk about, you know, not wanting to be around people and what I want to share is, you know, having healthy relationships is so valuable and we've been married and I just want to ask Jen, you know, what was it like when she found out from me, you know, that I did have a mental illness? You know, to tell you the truth, when I had met you, I mean, you didn't show any signs or symptoms of, you know, having a mental illness. I just thought you, you know, were very stable. I really did not have any reservations, you know, being with you uh, with a mental illness. I knew that you were, you know, pretty well controlled uh, with medication. You had gone through a lot of therapy. Um, and, you know, I, I did not think any less of you, uh, nor did I have any reservations about, you know, spending my life with you. So I think it's important to kind of take that stigma uh, out of, uh, you know, a person having mental illness. And, um, you know, people are very high functioning and live healthy lives despite being diagnosed with a mental illness like yourself. So I really think it's important. And I'll tell you, I was doing a radio interview uh, this week talking about these topics, and people said, you know, what if you don't feel like you can be loved? What if you think that, oh, because you have a mental illness, no one will, you know, accept you? And in my own journey, you know, it took a long time. Before I started dating, I got healthy. I took the medicine. I did therapy. And I worked on, you know, getting my life on track. And when I was ready, you know, I, the first person I ever told that I dated took a while before I shared it. I don't think you, on the first date you say, hey, nice to meet you. I'm bipolar. How are you doing? Because it would be a little weird. You know, it's like you don't walk around, hey, I have cancer, I have AIDS, I have this. You know, you should let the person get to know you. And I think a few week time frame where they see how you act and how you handle things and how you respond, you know, that will give them a clear picture of where you're at. And if, you know, you are going to have a long term relationship and you want to be honest, you know, you can tell them. And some people will accept you and say it's okay. And if they don't, as hard as that is, because I had relationships that didn't work or failed before I got married, and that person might not be the right person for you, but I can tell you if you get healthy and stable, there will be someone that will want to be in your life, that will accept you, and in fact, you know, I was stable for many years and had been doing well as a dad and a husband, and Jen, who had never had a mental health issue last year, you know, got diagnosed with depression, and Jen, maybe you can share what it was like to turn around a little bit and now you had something that you know had to be dealt with. Yeah, you know what, I knew that you had a lot of experience you know with, um, obviously you're a therapist so you deal with uh, these issues of depression and, and mental health issues every day but I mean I never thought that I would be the one you know who, who was you know having it and um, you know just to have a supportive husband like you and you know your, your knowledge of how to treat it and the best ways to go about you know daily life with something like depression was very valuable and uh, thank you very much for helping me and you know I'm a big component of, of medication and therapy I think therapy is the most valuable thing that you can give yourself it's it just really uh, is just a, a drop in the bucket of, of you know building your self-worth and, and, and talking it out and we all have issues and uh, you know a therapist is is a key if you if you can make it happen yeah and it, to me it was kind of a god wink because in the beginning I was worried hey someone would you know think I'm sick and not want to be with me and then I worked hard and got healthy and then years later after being married you know eight years she came down with a real severe case of depression and because I had learned you know all the right steps I was able to help her be patient with her and it was kind of karmically you know she had been nice to me and, and patient with me as I got healthier and then I could give back to her and be nice as she worked through her things we do a one-on-one -on -one coaching program where we work we motivate we inspire we teach we help you if you're dealing with family issues relationship issues you're trying to build up your confidence you can learn about our coaching. We offer it on uh, BlakeLevineCoaching.com, and we also write a blog, an inspirational blog, on BipolarOnline.com, and we love for you to check out both of our websites. And uh, have a great day. Yeah, just know there's hope. If you want to get married or have a family, we have two beautiful kids, and if we can do it, so can you. So thanks for watching this, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.